Mom Duels by a Big Rami and William Bonek for a top three comparison, and it would be reasonable to guess this will probably be our final comparison of this round. It will be, and I doubt that tomorrow anybody's going to make the necessary changes to change what we're looking at right now. But what we're looking at is two bodybuilders who have moved up. William Bonak, Big Rami, neither of them have ever tasted the top three in the world, and it looks like that's in the future for them in the next 24 hours. Phil Heath is trying to fend off both of them and retain the most coveted title in bodybuilding, and he's going to work for it. Because you can be sure that, um, as Phil Heath directs traffic up there, you can be sure that Phil Heath's going to have to work for it. But really, as you look at these guys, it's hard to imagine as great as Rami is, as wide as he is, as thickly built as he is with all that dense, grainy muscle and the, the clear improvements in the world-class conditioning that he has finally brought to the Olympia stage. People always used to say, if Rami gets it together and comes in in shape, is it going to be good enough to knock off Phil Heath? So I think that question, I'll pose it to you. Is it good enough to take out Phil? Relax. I think Phil it's damn Rami close. Switch. I would not be surprised, Dan. If we don't see exactly what you're talking about, it's very possible. I'm not going to say probable, but it's very possible. Steve Weinberger is a very fair head judge. And I saw Mohammed uh, Rami over in Kuwait beat Dexter and Sean Roden. And I'll tell you what, Philippe might be laughing right now. It's... But Steve Weinberger just put the defending champion on the outside and moved Big Rami into the center spot. You can read into that. We don't want to overstate it. But at the end of the day, right now, Big Rami is getting his chance to stand in the center of what appears to be the final call-out of the day. At the very least, we have some intrigue. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to end it there. William Bonick might wind up in the middle, too, and give them all a fair shot. But Big Rami, he's serving notice, man. And uh, I'm not going to say that it's impossible. Phil's genetics are far more superior than Rami's. But there's individual poses where Rami is undeniably all up in his grill. And we cannot discount what little uh, William Bonick is bringing because William is as complete as they come. He's just smaller. I face the same situation. Labrada, same situation. Mohamed McAway. Sometimes when you're small, you're the odd man out. And right now, these two big men in, in uh, Phil Heath and Big Rami, this is, a, this is a contest that's up for grabs as of tonight. And it's a bit of an apples and oranges situation, and we're kind of back to that. We kind of moved away from the apples and oranges debate when Ronnie's reign ended, when Jay Zane ended, but we're kind of back there now. Big Rami's the Relax. big, thick, massive switch. bodybuilder, and they're going to do exactly what you said. They're going to put William in the middle, which probably relieves Phil just oh, a yeah, little he's, bit right Look now. at he's smiling. He's like, thank, thank you. Because um, the narrative has just shifted in that, yes. in that moment where now he's no longer concerned. But you know what? He should be concerned. He should be concerned. Big Rami's been coming for a long time. I got to imagine Jay Cutler, when he saw Phil Heath coming, uh, I can imagine Ronnie muscular. Coleman when he saw Jay Cutler coming. Eventually, it happens, and every dog has their day. But as I look at Phil Heath, as good as his physique is with those big overblown deltoids, his chest Relax. is a little bit diminished as a result of the Billy shoulders. My eyes keep coming back to Rami in terms of being the guy that's going to be able to stand with Phil and battle with Phil. Gentlemen, and we're not, we're, we're not even talking about Rami's calves because they're not even really a factor here. His size, his shoulder width, the girth. It's something that you can't ignore on those thigh sweeps. Well, the one thing, you, the other thing you can't ignore is the fact that here in 2017 at the Olympia, we have ourselves a legitimate battle. We're not going to come Thank away from this prejudging with a clear one. sense of who won the contest. You, Big Rami has done the work. William Bonak is impressive. And Let's Phil Heath is good, Olympians. but he may have cracked open that door just enough to keep things interesting. He left the door open. Tomorrow we're going to find out. Uh, we're going to find out. But first, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here as our coverage from Las Vegas continues here at Joe Eater's 2017 Olympia weekend. Our defending champ will see a flex to make it six.